false? It's not a false standard of health. If you eat all donuts, you will die before your time. Hey, yo, what's poppy, y'all? I'm Ace. Hi, and I'm Star. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, bet. Let's get into it. All right, so we'll be back. And this time, we're discussing food neutrality. By the time we get to the end of this, you know what we're talking about. Food what? Do y'all remember when I said the body positivity movement is probably just propaganda paid for by multinational corporations so they can slang more cheeseburgers? So apparently there's a new idea going around <coughs> called food neutrality, which pretty much means there's no such thing as good or bad food. A donut is the same as a salad, and if you think other words, you've probably just internalized negative stigmas that have been promoted by diet culture. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? The fuck? Yes, sir. Wow, we're going to shit. Yep. Wow, we're yep. going this to is, shit. This is the body positivity movement running out of control. Now, it's just as healthy to eat hot dogs as it is to eat celery. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean... To We're me, all going to shit. Oh, yeah. And to me, it's funny because when they say body positivity, I'm like, oh, that's cool. <coughs> but the only reason why you're even allowed to, to, to breathe body positivity is because society has become so advanced that we've been able to combat Darwinism. Because let me tell you what, when the leopard runs down the thing, they're not going to catch me, bro. They're going to catch you with your stomach hanging back. That's who they're going to catch when you blow your knee out just trying to take one hard step. Stop it. Coddling the American people, people in general, is not good for you. Maybe kids at certain times and points, but coddling adults, grown adults who know right from wrong and consequences from the actions that they do. Bro, this isn't real. Bro. Are you kidding me? This isn't real. I think it's dead talking about now. You could just So you could just eat as many donuts as you want. Yeah, go ahead. Induce the heart attack. You'll be fine. Go ahead, girl. Induce like, I don't understand it. it. See, like, I, f I think, like, we've gone into a place where people's feelings trump actual facts and logic. You want to be paralyzed? Go ahead. You want to amputate? All right, like, girl. We like, there's plenty of evidence. Leg, everything. There's plenty of evidence and documentation that eating too much sugar, too much fat, shit like that will kill you. Diabetes. It will kill you. No, it will kill you. DVD. No, it won't cause. It will kill your ass way earlier than you're supposed to die, bro. Gangrene. It's not. Or you maim you, right? Cut off your shit, like, bruh, really? Give you like permanent fucking ailments. Poor um, healing. Poor circulation. Like, like, like Americans are already inside of an obesity epidemic. Ep sorry, epidemic. And the thing is, is that when you go to other countries, you don't see fat people like that. Nope. People aren't fat like that in other in European countries. I mean, you can also understand that just by checking the difference between what's in the exact same food in England and what's in the same exact same food here. Major right? difference. The McDonald's, the Frosted Flakes, all that shit got way other crazy shit in it that helps them save money that they can put in in, in the United States, but in in the EU is fucking banned. Stop it. This video was shared by the official no. LA United School District's Instagram page, and before I explain why it's completely f***ed up, let's get into the video. I got us donuts. Those are so bad for you. Oh no, are they moldy? I mean, are they poisoned? Did, are you allergic? No, I'm just saying. Mm. You're judging my food choices based on a false standard of health again, aren't you? Guilty. False? It's not a false standard of health. If you eat all donuts... You will die before your time. Let me, let me tell you something. I want these these fucking weirdos to to to, to do what the supersize me motherfucker did. Remember that? Facts. And eat McDonald's every day for fucking Facts. a couple months, and then go to the doctor. Bruh, the doctor said he was gonna die. He said he was dying. Nah. He said you're dying now. You are. You ruined your health, bro. Your cholesterol's through the roof. You're going to have a coronary tomorrow. That's sooner, literally what happened. So sooner, I want them to do that. Sooner or later, we're going to have a bunch of videos on, on the internet of people crying like, what did I do to myself? I feel so horrible. I, I just, like, why it can't, it's so hard for me. And I can't, I can't seem to, like, I have sleeping problems because, because I you're can't fat. breathe. I can't, like, and it's so hard for me to Yo. just try to get better. How much?
watch you in a bit. We're gonna Bruh, see a stop plethora the of videos like that sooner or later because they're um promoting Di- this diet they're promoting culture. This. Oh yeah, but yeah, but and and they're soon gonna start. T- remember, they already started it. Tying tying working out to, to toxic masculinity. Now, oh yeah. Now it's toxically masculine to exercise. Like, oh my god. I checked. I wasn't masculine. Diet culture, fatphobia, and systems of oppression have created false hierarchies of food, and it shows up everywhere. It's not false. Prove it's false. You right. don't. You don't just get to come on here and say fucking retard shit. Just because you ha- your feelings about it is Bruh, hurt. Prove it's false. Literally I literally have science, medicine, and, and data. everything. Like, are you kidding? Are Bruh, you kidding? Bro, we have anecdotal um evidence at this <laughs> point. Everybody knows somebody who just doesn't work out and eats mad stupid shit, and they're fucking fat. How do you think they got that way? They're fat, they're slow, they can't run fast, and they're, they have diabetes, they you have, have this, they have that. Like, that's real life, bro. You want proof? Go ahead. Make Have that bacon, a, a big thing of bacon. Pour that grease down that fucking um, sink. L- How much L- you want to L- bet L- your sink is going to be clogged, and that's what happens to your heart. So don't sit here and say that that, ain't, that is false that's when crazy. you know for a fact it's true. I don't give a fuck me? what these people are saying. Oh, harmful thought patterns. <laughs> This, that, and the other thing, yo, shut your stupid ass up. Mm. What I want you to do is prove to me that it's, it's the same. same as eating a donut, is the same as, as a eating a salad. That if I ate all if I ate all donuts, I'd have the same health as a vegan motherfucker. Tell me that fact. If you can't do that, shut your stupid ass up, because you're just on the internet saying shit. Like earning food through exercise. It's crack, man. It's not. Don't eat it at all. Moralizing food. We're not moral. <laughs> There's no morality in it. It's a fact. It is a fact. You, lady, are gonna have a corner. You on the screen. It like, is a stop fact it. That when you eat. Your body um, produces serotonin, which is from the gut. That gives you happy feelings. So when you're sad, yes, some people tend to cope by eating and using eating mechanisms as a coping, as a, sorry, eating as a coping mechanism. That is where you end up like this. So therefore, you're using bad, harmful, harmful, harmful food, things bitch. in order to cope with certain things. How about you choose? Man, fuck, co- fuck that shit. Uh, fuck coping. Coping-rise, you, coping-rise. You're not coping with shit. That's an excuse. You just fat and you um, need an excuse. You fat and you need someone to justify why you're like this. Justify every bad decision you've ever fucking made. Stop the madness. But it's also because... So you blame other people you're for You're going to sit here and say, oh, I'm happy because I, I, I got the food... I'm happy. To eat what I no want. one wants me. Well, yeah, of course. Your body's producing serotonin when you eat. No so, one yeah, wants you. It's it's a mechanism for your body to be happy and survive. That's all it is. And the story of eating. Instead of focusing on good and bad choices, try to approach food with neutrality in mind. The only foods that are bad for you are foods that contain allergens, poisons, and contaminants. You're an idiot. You're an idiot too. Now, if you motherfuckers didn't think, if you did, if you motherfuckers didn't know that corruption is a real thing, this is it. This is it right here. Scientists for nutrition and ingredients research for Mondelez International. Mondelez International is the largest snack company in the world. They make Oreos, Trident Gum, Sour Patch Kids, Rich Crackers, you name it. Nobody thinks it's a little weird that the company that makes snacks are saying that there's no difference between an Oreo and a salad. It's more obvious than ever before that body positivity is being propagated by snack cartels that have a vested interest in keeping you snack fat and <laughs> In general, 
a lot of studies from that time period from like the I, I, that's probably one of the most corrupt time periods in probably the history of like the United States it's like the the 1910s to like the 1950s this is like the most corrupt time period like ever like every and anything was going on so like a lot of the like original studies on marijuana that that they used to originally ban marijuana those were fake right a lot those those came from the 1920s right the 1930s that these it's not surprising that big corporations did exactly that back in those times paying did that with cigarettes right exactly and the thing is is that all the corporate regulations that you see now that prevent corporations from arguably doing shit like this Mm -hmm. They didn't exist in the nineteen twenties. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you do whatever you want. They, they used to put they put thirty people in a two bedroom apartment, bro. There was there was no fire hazards back then. Like there was no minimum wage, bro. You know what I mean? So like unemployment, nothing. So companies were able to literally do whatever and run roughshod. And like you, people when they what the people when they're promoting this body positivity shit, and then you hear someone talking about food neutrality, and you see the bitch that's talking food neutrality. Works for the candy company people. If you if you her agenda too. if you don't if you don't no, think that no. that's corruption, then Come you have on. no idea what's going on. Then you are a blind fucking sheep. Come eat these Oreos and cookies. And right? Diabetes. Like I don't I don't even believe in the the whole you know Andrew Tate and Sneeko Matrix reference about how they probably controlling you and I don't believe that stupid shit. However, if there was an example of it, this would be it. Yeah. They're making you fat, and it's and it's making them more money. And they don't. And then when you get sick, it makes the doctors more. It makes the pharmaceutical Shit. company more money. Absolutely. Like, bruh, you need to, like, like it's uh, it's right there in black and black and white ink. What they're saying is obviously factually inaccurate and medically inaccurate. They're just yet allowing she, the people right. to self sabotage. But yet she's saying it anyway. Now, what's the reason for her saying something that's arguably and factually inaccurate? Whoa. It's because she works with people that would directly profit from the promulgation of these ideas. Please. And almost all of the original studies that conclude this were funded by Kellogg or Quaker Oats. The point that I'm trying to make is the point that I'm always trying to make. Money talks and companies have a lot of it. These companies are becoming more powerful than governments and they don't care about what's best for humanity. People have to realize that they are willing to poison your body and mind in order to make an extra dollar. Facts. Like, that is this body positivity, no fat phobia shit is all garbage. Y'all all living in a, a walking logical fallacy. Like, the whole thing doesn't, doesn't make sense. It's not even based in reality. It's based only in feelings. It's based on the fact that you feel bad that people say that you're fat. Mm-hmm. That's it. But yet, if both of us had to run away from a robber, who do you think's going to get away? And who's going to break their ankle three steps down the block? Stop fucking playing with me. <laughs> Eventually, down the line, we're going to end up looking like all the... People from the movie Wally. They were just Who? <laughs> they were just not like me. Fat and just on hovering chairs, and they just did everything on Them the people. chairs. Not me, but I still be the one walking around be like with, with my good people legs. And the planet's gonna be soiled and shitty and everything else. We're not gonna have no air to breathe in like eighty years. Pollution is gonna, gonna be out. We ain't gonna, gonna, gonna make it that far. I'll be out. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. Wow, that you.